Guys, so we're gonna start off with the foam rollers today. And um, let me see what we got. More singing. From me? I don't know. Um, Mr. Clean. Uh, I don't know, I'll try to sing um, some other time. Today is the, uh, you know, I like the Asian Zen music in the background for the stretching. But I, I love that though. Just send me some of the songs you guys requested. Next time we'll uh, get this thing going real hard and uh, I'll start singing more. But all right, guys, we're going to start stretching here. Start off with the foam roller here. Oof. All right. We're going to start off tight underneath our backs, right here close to our bottom. I'm going to pull our heels in and I'm going to start in this position right here. So my weight's up, butt's off the ground. All the weight's pushing down on my lower back. I'm going to reach in behind my head. And then push my feet out, roll down. All right, and then I'm gonna push when I get here to the bottom of the 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 uh, foam rollers at the top of my back. I'm gonna push my hips up and then roll back in and push my weight down towards the foam roller. And you'll notice when you do this one, you'll get some pops in your back if it's the first time you've done it today. And you're gonna roll, rotate back and forth, side to side, and you're going to get your whole back. We're going to spend about 30, 45 more seconds here. And as you do this, see, I'm going to turn right, when I turn right there, I felt this really good pull right here under my lat and under my, um, on my back. So I'm going to stop right there and just rotate back and forth on really tender spots. You know, to get my whole back on this. And the more you roll out, like we talk about every time, the better you get at it. And you know, you can turn your hand out, roll it around, and you'll get different. Um, tender spots. Alright, All right, we're going to drop that right arm to the ground underneath and kind of roll over to our right side. Now we're going to get the back of our arm, um, our deltoid and our tricep. Okay, so this whole area from the, like our shoulder blade all the way around to the outside of our deltoid. Oh, I'm just going to roll nice and slow. Nice and slow. All try to get all the way back down to the elbow as you roll, and then come back up to the top of the shoulder. And you don't have to turn around a little bit here to get off those angles. Oh. See, a spot like this, like on your deltoid, no one really just rolls that out. So once you get that spot, you <laughs> move, please. Alright, we're gonna switch sides, roll it over to the other side. So you can see here. The back of that was, I don't know if this is helping the angle, but we'll see. Start off on that right side. We start off on that calf. All right, hands behind here, and you can either stack legs here to put a little more pressure, or just do one leg and come up on that outside leg. Whatever you prefer. On the calf, you'll notice if you rotate this way as well, you'll really find tender spots deep within those muscles. Switch legs. Oh, this feels nice. Oh man. And this whole time, I'm pushing up through my shoulders, strengthening my shoulders, stretching them as well at the same time. And you'll notice when you start, um, if you're new to foam rolling, having to hold yourself up at all these weird angles really puts a lot of stress on your shoulders and you might get tired that way. So take breaks when you need to and uh, shake those arms out. Mm -hmm. 
Hurts so freaking good. Hurts so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Sometimes love ain't like it should. Hurts so good. All right, now I'm going to roll it up to the right hamstring. Let's see you, Deb. All right, so now the easiest way to get the hamstring is put the, the end of the foam roller right here underneath the right hamstring. Right hand goes in between the legs, left hand goes behind, and I'm gonna press myself up, and then I'm getting my hamstring, okay? Most of my weight's on that back hand, so I can press forward and backward. This one right here is really just for balance. All right, we're gonna get this whole leg here this minute. We're gonna spend about a minute, minute and a half on the same leg. And the way we do that is, we're just gonna slowly roll and twist my body as I go. Imagine I'm gonna roll through a quarter inch of my leg 10 seconds down. I'm gonna rotate a quarter of an inch and rotate up 10 seconds up. And the longer you spin on areas, especially big areas like your legs, you really have to kind of roll over the same spot a few times to get that release. Just keep going. We're going to keep rolling over all the way to our stomachs eventually to get our quads. But you take your time, and we're going to spend about another minute here. You take your time and roll as slow as you want, as quickly as you want. Especially if they're super sore. So if you feel like when you're rolling over, you feel that big boom, and you roll over and feel a big bump, that's nothing wrong with that. It's just your muscles all tight working them out. It's actually good to go over those spots. All right, so lift up the thing, man. Stop. Eventually, it will be all the way to my stomach. I'm still on that right leg, all the way to my stomach, and it's gonna be parallel to my body. I'm gonna straighten that right leg out to the side so I can get my groin all the way in, deep into my leg to that teardrop at the bottom of my knee, okay? So now I'm here, leg straight out to the side, and I'm getting the inside of that leg. And I'm telling you, you guys could probably spend 10 minutes on each leg and still be rolling out and feel really good and get that soreness out. So um, definitely, if you wanna pause me and stay longer on one spot, do that, or if you want to uh, go back and hit, hit a tender spots more, that's definitely okay. And relax. We're gonna switch back to the left leg. Here we go. Left hamstring now. All right, nice and tight. Under that left hamstring. Left hand in between the legs, right hand behind, and we're up. slowly back and forth. Keep it rolling. You'll tend to when I, when I want to turn my body and put more weight on the outside of my leg, I'm going to step that right leg over so I have more balance again.
this, when you get good at foam rolling, it also really helps you understand your muscle groups better. Because you'll know what part of your body needs rolling out and you'll figure out, oh dang, what is that muscle that's hurting? And you'll look it up and you'll figure it out. And so anatomy definitely helped me out a lot with this. But um, like in the leg, there's four muscles. I couldn't name them all perfectly, but it's like vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, vastus something, something, but whatever. There's four of those in there and I'm hammering them right now and it feels so good. And now I'm back to my stomach now, getting the groin all the way down to that teardrop. And relax. All right, guys. Done with those legs for a moment here. We're going to keep it on our stomach, though. Keep it on our stomach. Bring that foam roller tight into our chest. We're gonna work on our upper body here for a little bit. Roll it into your chest. You can pick whatever side you want first. And we're gonna start here all in our chest and get down to our shoulder, all right? Straighten that arm out. And when you rotate your hand, you'll notice different spots and you'll find those tender areas. Inside your shoulder right here, you'll, there, there's definitely gonna be some soreness, definitely gonna be some really tender spots. Don't let that phase you. Roll back and forth, find those tender spots, and press into them. You want this to be uncomfortable, but not hurt. It should feel very good. And I'm gonna roll it down to the bicep. And relax, this is some sides. Under the chest here. Into the shoulder. Three, two, one. All right. Done with the foam roller for a moment, guys. Well, for the rest of the day, actually. But we'll start stretching a little bit here. Okay, bring it up all the way to your feet. All the way to your feet. Grab some water if you need it. Relax, shake it out. You should feel pretty limber at this moment. We're gonna stretch some and then we'll be done. About 10 more minutes and we'll be out of here. All right? Start with our feet in front of us. We're gonna hang our hands out of our toes. We'll really stretch our hamstrings out, okay? Deep breaths here into the nose. Out through the mouth. As I, I'm gonna turn that music down. It's annoying me. It's like too screechy. All right, feet together. And deep breath into the nose. Out through the mouth. As I reach down to the ground. I'm just gonna slowly keep falling into this stretch. Every deep breath, I'll get a little bit lower. Fall into it. A little bit uncomfortable. We don't want it to hurt though. back 
back up from that, relax, nice and slow. We're gonna take it down one more time, deep breath in the nose. Out of the mouth. One more into the nose. And as we exhale, take it back down. out with our left leg. All right, lunge it out, drop that back knee to the ground, okay? And then I'm just gonna press forward here and really try to pull this right leg through the hole and get a good stretch here right through my hip. Oh, so you're gonna be chest on. This one is important to pretend you're pulling this back leg through. Really squeeze and pull it tight. Now we're gonna push it back on that right heel, straighten up that left leg, hands come down to the side. I'm gonna reach out, you don't have to, if you wanna keep balance, you can keep that hand there, but you can reach out with this toe and pull forward, really get a good hamstring stretch on that left side. And relax, now we're gonna press it back forward here. Once we're back to that starting position, I'm gonna take my left forearm and come forward here. I'm gonna to try to drop it to the ground right inside my foot. I wanna to try to get that elbow right inside the crease of my foot if I can. Switch sides, left leg back, right leg forward. Big chest here, pulling that left leg through the hole, squeezing, keeping it tight. And press it back on the heel. Reaching with that toe if you can. And relax, coming back forward. Same thing on the right side. I'm gonna try to put that right forearm to the ground. back on our heels now. All right, both knees together. We're just gonna sit back on our heels here, all right? If this is uncomfortable for your knees, I want you to just come up and sit up tall. Still taking deep breaths here, then we're gonna go right on across. On this one, as you're pulling that arm across, try to drop this shoulder down to the ground at the same time. Switch. And relax. I'm going to right arm behind the head. Pulling that elbow, trying to keep looking straight forward here. Switch. And relax. Now we're 
to come forward, hands pushing out towards in front of us, knees are going to come apart, feet are going to come together, we're going to do that child's pose. Ten more seconds into the nose, out through the mouth. And crawl it back in. And we're done.